Turkey accused Israel on Thursday of violating the airspace of Turkish-controlled northern Cyprus in a controversial oil and gas exploration area. The Israeli aircraft violated the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus's airspace five times in Monday's incident, which saw Turkish fighter jets chase out the intruder. There were no other details about the incident nor the type of Israeli plane involved in the alleged incursion over the breakaway statelet, which is recognized only by Ankara. Israel and the internationally recognized Republic of Cyprus have both discovered huge offshore natural gas deposits between the Mediterranean Sea and have tentatively discussed cooperation on delivering gas to European and Asian markets. The drilling for gas and oil in the seabed off Cyprus, which began last year, angered Turkey, which says it abuses northern Cypriots' rights to the same resources. The BBC's annual poll shows that Israel is ranked third among nations perceived as having a negative influence on the world. Only Iran and Pakistan did worse than Israel in the survey. Iran took the unflattering top spot, and Pakistan ranked second with Israel and North Korea tied for third place. The Jewish state's situation is particularly grim in Europe. Knesset member Gideon Ezra passed away early Thursday at the age of 74. He was diagnosed with lung cancer two years ago. He had served as a minister several times and was also deputy head of the Shin Bet. Born in Jerusalem, Ezra spent his military service at the Nachal Brigade and served in the Shin Bet. He was first elected to the Knesset as a Likud member in 1996 and sat in various committees. In 2003, he was appointed a minister without portfolio in Ariel Sharon's government. Later, he joined Sharon in his new party, Kadima, and in March 2006 was elected Knesset member on behalf of Kadima. Thousands of Jews from Morocco, Israel, and other parts of the world have carried out an annual pilgrimage to the Islamic nation of Morocco this week to honor celebrated rabbis. The North African nation has for centuries had a vibrant Jewish population, and some 1,200 of the faith's pious ancestors are buried in cemeteries there. In recent days, about 5,000 pilgrims have gathered to pray for peace at sanctuaries and grave sites. The pilgrimage will finish Saturday following five days of prayers and celebration. The Ministry of Tourism is expected to invest 41 million shekel in the southern resort town of Eilat in 2012. The investment was allocated as part of a five-year plan to leverage the tourism potential of the resort. The investment will incorporate marketing, events, infrastructure, and improving the tourism product in the city. As part of the five-year program from 2010 to 2014, the Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Finance, and Municipality of Eilat have assigned 103 million shekel for tourist infrastructure development and upgrading of existing and new infrastructure.